Now let's look at another example involving the component balance. In this case, the liquid coming in and the outlet flow is due to gravitational force, meaning that the volume of liquid in the tank is not constant. We'll start with the step one, defining the modeling objective. Now for this case, you can think about can we really get a model between CR and FI? Or in other words, from the control perspective, can we maintain CR by manipulating FI? Now from the knowledge of the process, you can see here, that at a steady state, if CRI equals CR, if we make a change in the inlet flow rate, so the liquid coming in and the liquid in the tank have the same composition. So if we even make some change in the inlet flow rate, that will make the volume to change. However, the composition in the tank will not change. So there is no dynamic relation between CR and FI. Only way you can maintain CR by manipulating CRI, meaning the inlet composition. So for this case, again, the output will be CR and the input will be CRI. The relation can be captured by the model equation. However, for this case, other variable will be also related. So we'll have FI will affect B or H in other words, and B will affect F0. Those relations will be useful. However, there will be no correlation between FI and CR. Now we need some process information, information that we can gather. Now going back to step three, let's look at the overall mass balance first. So we'll have D rho V over DT FIT times rho minus rho F naught T, which give us DV over DT y t minus f naught t. Regarding these links, v, here v equals a time h, which is the level of liquid in the tank. And we know that if f i increases, level of liquid will increase, and that will affect the outlet flow. So that link between v and f naught is the same as h and f naught, which can be given as f naught t equals some gamma square root of h. So these equations are involved in some way. However, this does not relate these two variables. Now to relate these two variables, we need to write down the component balance. Now again, there is no equation involved here. So the component balance will also be simple as accumulation equals in minus out. Now this will lead us to mass in the tank. rate of change over time equals in minus out. Now again, this CR, these are represented in terms of mass per unit volume. So you multiply by volume will give you the mass. So from here you get, for our case, this both B and CR, those are function of time. So those two can be expressed using plus CRT so this is the left side we can expand it like this and the right side remains the same now this left side can again be written as we know the relation dv over dt equals fit minus f naught t so if you simply replace dv by dt by this term, so we'll get the left side to be equals plus Now if you compare the left side with the right side, we see that F naught CRT, this term is there on both sides. So now if we equate this with that and putting this into back to this equation, we'll end up getting equals this term. So this term will have this component. So at this second term get cancelled out. We'll have this term on the right side. We'll get this Fi CRT 
will be simply the right side will have only this term f i c r i to this plus so this is the equation relating c r i with c r so that's what we are looking for now again we talked about is there a dynamic relation between c r and f i from this equation you can see if c r equals c r i which happened at the steady state and if we make a change in f i what happens these two terms will get cancelled out and will have only dcrt over dt which will become zero so meaning that if even a change in fi there will be no change in cr what it means from the control perspective that you cannot maintain cr by manipulating fi for this case this equation is written typically in a standard form as dcrt over dt plus Now let's look at a commonly used mixing example. Uh, this is a common practice in industries that often different chemicals come in concentrated form and then it mixed to dilute it to be used for a, a specific process. Now for this case, if you want to maintain the composition of a particular solute in the outlet, you manipulate the solvent flow because the concentration of the solute in the feed can be changing also like the feed rate can be changing. So you need to manipulate the solvent flow to maintain the composition. So for this case, again, if we start with the step-by-step -step procedure, so step one, we're going to find a model between this CR and then F2. So our output is, and the input is. Now in step two, we want to find some information about the process for this case you know the volume is constant here there will be other relevant information however those can be collected we'll move directly to step three where you need to write down the balance equation now we have a component here so the component balance equation will be useful however we see that there is no mention about the temperature dependence of the concentration so we'll assume the temperature is not a variable here and the energy balance equation will become irrelevant so we have the overall mass balance and the component balance equation now if we write the overall mass balance again we know that accumulation equals in minus out for our case the volume is constant over here we'll simply end up getting f i t plus f 2 t equals f t so again i'm not writing the details over our mass balance equation just if you write the equation we'll end up getting this now let's focus on the component balance then we do not have any generation term there is no reaction we do not have any consumption term for the same reason so we'll directly get rate of accumulation which is given by i will write it as v crt and its derivative with time to give you the rate of accumulation equals rate of in of r which is f1 cr1 and then for this case you see here we're considering this to be pure solvent although that steam is coming in we have times zero there is no solute coming in with this stream and minus f not t cr t that's going out so now i see here this term gets cancelled however you know that we are trying to find a model between cr and f2 so in this equation no more f2 term left however we have this equation that you can use so here for a constant v we'll write v cr t over dt will be f1 cr1 minus f not equals simply f1 but this should be f1 plus f2 
Now you see here that we don't write the f1 as a function of time because we're trying to find out the relation between f2 and crt. So we'll let us see that when you're trying to find a model between two variables, we consider others to be constant. That's why I'm, I'm not writing as a function of time here. Now if we further simplify this, v d c r t over d t plus f1 c r t minus c r1 equals negative f2 t c r t. So this is the equation obtained directly from the conservation principles. Now, if you look at this equation again, if you try to find out the relation between CR1 and CR, what will happen for that particular case? You can simply write down for that particular case that you will assume F1, F2 does not change and you want to find the relation between CR1 and CR, meaning that how the composition changes CR if there is a change in the inlet composition. So for that case, CR1 may be a disturbance but you may want to know how this output is changing with the change in the disturbance. In that case, you can simply write down the equation as the same equation. You maybe just want to express in a way to write it down as equals Again, I'm writing it as a function of time because for this case, you are trying to understand the relation between CR1 and CR. Okay, so the relation between the disturbance and the output. In the same way, you can find out what's the relation between this inlet flow rate with the composition inside the tank. You just simply write down the equation in that particular way to find an input output model for this case. In that case, it will be an input output model if you want to manipulate this inlet flow rate to maintain a composition over here. However, like for this problem, the common practice would be to maintain the composition by manipulating this flow rate. So that will be the relevant equation for that case. Do remember that these two equations are the same equation, just how you consider the variables. That's the difference.